Hey guys, Chris here. You join me here in the 2018 Volvo XC60 T8 inscription. And a lot of you guys have been complaining, or not a lot of guys of you complain, some of you guys complain that I only test, you know, the fully equipped, the highest level of the cars I'm driving. But that's because, you know, I'm, I'm testing the press cars that the manufacturers are supplying me with. Uh, those are the only cars that I'm allowed to, you know, test for an extended time period, like a week or more, and which are dedicated test vehicles. And the manufacturers, you know, always want to show their best side. So that's why they always equip these cars with just about every option. And it's always been like that. It's probably always going to be like that. There will be some exceptions here and there. But that's why I'm not able to, you know, test uh, extensively or even test a lesser equipped version of a car. Um, but so when I picked up this uh, XC60 on Friday, uh, like all cars, it has just about every option and even more than you can get uh, from, you know, the spec sheet. This even has the uh, exterior styling package, which is a dealer option. When I sat in this car, it was it came as a very large surprise to me that this has the standard sound system, though with the upgraded subwoofer. So it's not the base base, but this is the base sound system with the upgraded uh, subwoofer, which is like not a lot more money. And so in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a review of this, this sound system. And like always, uh, when I do these reviews, um, it's the, your listening experience. It will be highly dependent on the microphone I'm using. Specs of my equipment are down below in the description. And also, also highly dependent on the headphones you're using, the speaker you're listening to this with. So this won't be a one-to-one -one comparison. But my experience, what I will tell you about the listening experience and what you can hear will give you a very good idea of how it performs. So let's start off with a tour of the speakers. And I couldn't find any specs of the sound system anywhere online but i don't think that's important because this is the bog standard sound system though with the upgraded subwoofer so up top here you don't have any you know tweeter sticking out like you do with the Barrison and wilkins uh, premium sound system and the xc60 but you have a tweeter here and you have a mid-range speaker behind this grill and it's just normal a normal plastic grill over to the doors this is the biggest design difference if you've seen this car with the Barrison wilkins premium sound system it has these beautiful aluminum uh, speaker grills and then you also have the kevlar speakers you know behind that so it looks very cool and very premium here you only get this plastic uh, speaker grill looks nice enough it's just nothing special and you here you have a tweeter inside here and then you have a mid-range speaker and then you have a woofer down below and uh, you also have that on this side that's what this looks like so counting the speakers we have one two three four five six seven eight and then you have the rear doors i think you have a um, the same setup here you have a tweeter and a mid-range and then you have a woofer down there and then you don't have the speakers up in the roof behind there as you would with the Barson Wilkins premium sound system but you have a subwoofer in the trunk so to give you guys the best listening experience with this car we have downloaded the Spotify app and then we are uh, you we have the uh, car connected to my phone via Wi-Fi that will give us the best listening experience just gonna remove that message there give us the best experience uh, of listening because we don't we won't have any audio loss between my phone and the car which will give you the best sound experience um, and then we're just gonna go into the settings here to show you guys this is in the region but just going to show you guys uh we've just set the tone so we have the uh we have the bass set there and then we have the subwoofer set there i haven't done anything with the equalizer but you don't have too many options here uh, i'm just going to deactivate that and that's what that looks like so you don't have too many options here um, with the audio so without further ado, let's go back to the app um, and we're just going to play this song. Uh, the description of the song will also be in the, uh, or the, the details of the song will be in the description down below. You can actually download it via link in the description. This is non-copyrighted music, royalty-free music. So without further ado, I'm going to turn the microphone around and then let's listen to the sound system. <laughs>
So that was the listening experience of this, the standard sound system with the upgraded uh, subwoofer. And what do I think about this sound system? Well, I'm actually quite impressed with it. The last time I tested a standard sound system in a Volvo was the V90, the 17 model I had last year. And that didn't impress me much at all. That didn't have the upgraded subwoofer. It was so flat and uh, listening to the sound system uh, hours and hours would just make you, make me very tired in my ears and in in my head. So that's the biggest the biggest difference between the the cheaper sound systems and you know the premium the the high quality stuff is that the listening experience won't get tiresome after a few hours. But this is quite impressive. Yes, when you push it uh, above uh, the 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 mid of the the volume there halfway mark of how loud it plays uh, the sound does get very distorted the bass and the subwoofer uh, doesn't quite uh, isn't dynamic enough to 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 follow the music uh, if that makes any sense um, lacking in expressions here I'm not used to talking about sound systems that much um, but so the 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 biggest difference between this and the Bowers and Wilkins premium sound system is when you play it loudly. O of course, also the bass is so much tighter, so much crisper, and also the mids and the highs with the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. But for being a bass sound system with the subwoofer, this is one of the best bass sound systems I've heard in any car. Volkswagens and Audis used to have very good bass sound systems, but they would sound very tinny. This doesn't sound tinny at all. This, I'd have to compare this to the the uh, Bang & Olufsen upgraded sound system in the Audi A4, which is the 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 most expensive and the largest. But I don't, I don't from what I can recall from our my colleague's Audi A4, one of our company cars, which has the Barston, no, the Bang & Olufsen uh, premium sound system. This the difference isn't that much. And if you play it native through Spotify you'll keep a lot of that crispness. Once you go to Bluetooth, uh, even the Barbs and Wilkins sound system starts to sound muddy. So do yourself a big favor if you you're, you know, you like audio, uh, connect either your phone to the, uh, the car to your phone via Wi-Fi or get uh, a SIM card so you can tether Wi-Fi or tether data directly to the car because that will be probably the biggest difference you can make which is a no uh, without using any money at all but how this sound system sits i'm quite impressed with it i would still you know dash out the extra three grand for the barson wilkins sound system because that is just amazing and sounds amazing always this falls starts to fall apart when once you play loud music but still it's very impressive so guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please drop me a like down below a thumbs up down below and for more car content as always guys please subscribe see you guys later and goodbye Shh.